The term animal is often related to something heartless and harsh, but whosoever believes in this doesn't really know that animals, be it the pets or the domestic ones or even the wild ones, they are the only beings who share the privilege of having a soul after humans. Even the wildest animals can be tamed with love. And there is no denying that some angels prefer to have fur and tail instead of wings. If you haven't loved an animal enough, you must do so now, as then only you will realize that a part of your soul has unawakened until now. When the organization named Humane Society, which sheltered pets, received a new intruder, they did not know how would other animals react to the new member. And amongst all the members, a cat's reaction when a member intervened with her and her kittens caught all the attention. But why? Mother cats, just like human mothers, are very protective when it comes to her kittens. Cats are most often termed as ferocious, and when one intrudes with her family, they can be the worst ones to mess around with. Something strange happened when someone dissimilar meddles with Gwen, the mama cat, and her kitten's life. The way Gwen behaved in the presence of the new member was not at all expected of the cat. It came as a very peculiar act to the staff members of the Humane Society. They had never thought that the kitty would end up doing something like what she did. What was so unusual about the cat and who was this intruder? When the cat recently gave birth to a litter of kittens, the new mom's motherly instinct took over her. She would often play and have fun with the people at the Humane Society. But with the birth of her kittens, she was a devoted mother whose first priority was her children. Just like a perfect mother, Gwen would first feed her kittens and would snuggle around them just to make them warm. For the initial few weeks, the cat did not let anyone step closer to her and her babies. So when this new intruder came to the society, none knew that the cat, which was this protective, would go out of her way and do something like that. Who was this new intruder that came in way of this cat's behavior? While post-pregnancy the cat was a little sensitive, this new identity interfered into the lives of the new mom and her newborns. This new trespasser was someone one had never imagined to be near a cat. One morning, a person came to the Humane Society in the hope that the tiny puppy he found alone on the road would be properly taken care of over here. The puppy got along was a chihuahua puppy who was in a desperate need of help. What was the matter with the pooch? The man who came to offer this pup told the society that his mother, unfortunately, was hit by a car and was dead at the scene. And this little creature was left to grief and pain. The puppy was so small and his condition was so terrible that the man could not see him like that and decided to help him in any way possible. Ryan McTeague, who is a member of Michigan Humane Society, diagnosed the baby Chihuahua, and he furnished that he was in a poor condition. The pup would not be more than 2 minus 3 days old and needed immediate care and attention, but there was a major challenge ahead for the volunteers. One of the major concerns for the volunteers at the shelter was to keep the baby pup alive, and in doing so they had to struggle a lot. His health was deteriorating majorly because of the pain of the loss of his mother pooch. The separation anxiety had taken over him. What happened next was quite unexpected. The volunteers kept the pup in intense care unit and were trying to infuse supplements in him to ensure he is coping with life. But nothing seemed to work, as the pup was very young. He wasn't able to consume solid foods and he wasn't accepting bottle feeding. A solution had to be devised. The staff at Humane Society was now worried. The pup could only be retrieved with love and care of a mother. The pain of losing her mama dog was so intense that the pup had literally given up on life. He was barely a couple of days old and surviving without a mother was impossible. Every individual was concerned about this pup's health. Though they gave them the name Bobby, they could not give him what he badly needed. Bobby needed a mother's milk and her warmth. Finally, a way could be figured out to help this pup who stole every heart at the society. The pup needed a foster mom immediately who could look after him and provide him with the needed warmth. As the dog wasn't responding well to human care, it was the only way to help him out. Yet, there was another problem. From where will one find a nursing dog? Though the Humane Society shelter a lot many cats and dogs, there were dogs there, but not even a single one was a nursing dog. Then the members are recalled of Gwen the nursing cat. However, they weren't sure about the consequences that might follow after looking at the cat's tactics these days. Some were the volunteers at the society were scared at this thought. There was a very rare chance that Gwen would accept Bobby and would nurse him. After all, she was a cat and Bobby a puppy. However, the only thing they gave them hope in the hopeless situation was the pup size. How? Bobby was equally small in size as the kittens. His facial features were the only thing that was different from the other kittens. So this gave them a slim chance to try the hands with Gwen and try to save the life of this pup. How will the cat react? Gwen's attitude and behavior were not hidden from anyone. 
In her post-pregnancy stage, she grew a little ferocious. She never let anyone near her kittens and none knew what will be her next move on finding a puppy amongst her litter of kittens. And what happened next was totally unbelievable. The staff keeps Bobby next to Gwen's kittens, and it was very surprising that Bobby mingled really well with other kittens, and even Gwen did not mind his presence rather the moment she saw him. She smelled him and licked him. None thought that Gwen would accept this new member in her family. Oh Georgia, another volunteer at the Humane Society said, We had a mom cat that was recently still nursing, and they thought, ingenious idea, to maybe see if this puppy could go along with these guys. And when this plan seemed to work she could not believe her eyes. She tells that it was an experiment they were trying and were not at all sure if it would work or not as the dog and the cat were two totally contrasting species. She said, and it actually worked, she began to lick him. When the mamma embraced Bobby in her arms, she licked him up and cleaned him just the way she would do to her kittens. It was a beautiful thing to acknowledge. Who would have ever thought that a mother cat would not mind feeding a baby pup? Not only was Gwen a mother to the pup but the kittens also enjoyed his company, as if they were siblings. That's just so adorable and cute, isn't it? McTeague further says, the cat was very content with all her little guys running around, so it seems like a perfect fit. The best part about this entire acceptance by Gwen was that Bobby's health began to improve. He certainly turned a little healthy and would feel loved. The pup who would often be lonely and scared started to move about carefree, as if someone gave life to a dead soul. Just a week under Gwen's care, the pup which initially was very weak and fragile, gained mass. It was indeed the much needed nutrients from the mother's milk doing their job the best. Only a foster dog or a cat have saved this pup's life and eventually, Gwen saved his. Gwen made sure that all her babies are been fed properly. Even when she herself would go ahead to have her meal, she would let the babies have her milk. Undoubtedly, motherhood is a phase demanding care even when it comes to animals. What about Bobby and the whole litter now? Well, McTeague says that the whole litter will be in foster care until they're big enough to find loving homes. They would be provided with proper care at the Humane Society. However, one thing was still supposed to be done for Bobby. Bobby needed to learn the behavior of a dog and as he was under the care of a cat, McTeague said, we're going to have to get him into a home with some dogs and learn how to be dot 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 you know. A dog? Eventually, he will have to be taken away from his foster family. Bobby would stay amongst the cats until he grows old enough to survive on solid food. And once he is able to do so the members of the Humane Society will shift him with another foster family of dogs, where could mingle with the species same as his. As all of us know cat or dogs are something that never goes together, people at the Humane Society just have a single desire that even after growing old Bobby remains cat friendly and all is a remembrance to his foster family. That's a worthy hope, though. There was one good news for all the people who were concerned about Bobby's behavior with other dogs. Bobby was doing good when he was shifted under the foster care of a dog. He bonded with the species like him really well. Bobby was doing great with his new family, but he still loved his kitty family. The doggo learned the basic instinct of being a dog and at the same time had ample love for Mama Gwen and his siblings. A month later to this, something amazing happens. The Humane Society shared the story of Bobby over the social media, and people instantly fell in love with this creature. They felt a connection to him and adored him, and finally Mark turns up to adopt Bobby. Mark was very happy to pet Bobby. He gave him a new home and a new family, and above that a new name. Mark called Bobby Lemmy now. Lemmy was overwhelmed to have a human papa to look after him. Ryan McTeague concludes his post by saying that it is the love which matters. Cats and dogs can be friends with a proper introduction and some love. While after coming across this story, one may believe that yes, cats and dogs do not always fight, but can love one another too.